And remember, after every episode, I've been telling you to send your hate mail to my ass. Well, my ass is officially a two-way street. <laughs> Here comes the bowel movement. Yeah. And today, I'm going to be the old angry bad pop and bust out your mailbag. And in a year's worth of episodes, I've got some home dinger emails from some feminists out there who are very upset with what I'm doing. These are the women who throw the word misogyny around, but all of them seem to attack some common themes, like the size of your penis, you're gay, they want to shame you and blame you. I love you too. Yeah, no. Well, it's not working here. And again, I'm busting out your tricks. So learn what words really mean. Shut the hell up and take some responsibility for what feminism has wrought. And let's all just laugh our asses off at them. <laughs> With that being said, <laughs> let us begin. Don't bite the dick, the fuck you, honey. It'll be good to you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say yeah to that, I can't. You're just bitter. Actually, I'm not bitter. I don't care anymore. I'm beyond that. I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not. You thought I was serious, didn't you? <laughs> You're angry. If I'm angry because I'm telling the truth, f off. I don't care. I guess you got me. You're just being negative. Math doesn't lie. And if I'm telling it how it is, I had a woman spend all my money, but I'm divorced now. Winning. You're just afraid. Uh, I'm not afraid of anything under this earth, except for God and uh, not even death, so. Ah! You fear a strong woman. So what constitutes a strong woman? Woman that'll go cuckoo for cocoa penis puffs while her man is out fighting a war overseas? Yeah! Uh, please tell me. Step up and be a man. If stepping up and being a man means shut your mouth and pay the bills and just get crushed in the ground, well then you got me. I'm not a man then. Man, that's okay. <laughs> you raging sack of cacaholics. Get over it. We went back and forth about the numbers and about, you know, the 85%, 15% for custody and the big disparages between sentencing between males and females, and her only response was to get over it. Kiss my ass. Despite all of the statistics and the facts, so I wonder how many times the gays got over it so they could fight for the right to get married, or the women for the right to vote. Maybe they should have got over it too. We're not getting over it, you flippin' hypocrites. You know what? You're immature and you should just grow up. Uh, I don't know how I should uh, address being immature and growing up. Hang on a minute, man. let me drink. That's the positive. Yeah! Where's my beer? Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. You hear that? I think, wait a minute. It's me not caring. That's exactly how I'm gonna handle that one. You're a boy and I want a man. Okay, again, this is like the shame thing. Like, I'm a boy and I should be a man. A man who just gets over it and shuts his mouth and pays all the bills and gets caught in a dignity cipher or whatever. The last time I looked, this isn't a dating site. So what? Uh, Kiss my ass! Uh, have fun with that and your 45 year old worth nothing ass, so perhaps you should buy some cats and invest in PetSmart. Yeah! Which is comic book speak for shut the f up. And uh, don't edit that out. You scare me. You scare me too. You're a wacko. I love wacko, yakko, and dot. Animaniacs! <laughs> Winning! Yes, I, I, I am a little bit crazy, because this is fun. You have to be crazy to take this perspective on it, so you got me on that one. Get away from my ass! <laughs> You're just a stupid extremist. So wanting equal treatment instead of a bunch of special privileges? For people who claim to be discriminated against, but really have a leg up on every middle-class white dude walking the earth? How extreme! Ah! Listen, ladies, I'm dyslexic enough as it is before, without you guys using words that you don't even know what they mean. Hate monger. If you look through all my videos, I really don't use the word hate, nor do I monger it. Blow it out your ass. Again, I'm using math, logic, and reason, something that seems to be missing from the female perspective because they always want to attack on an emotional level. It's really hard to talk to a woman with their mouth full of peg D because all you're really going to get is vowels. You're just a sexist prick. <laughs> you got me. I guess I am. I'm cool with that. <laughs> yeah! You're mentally unstable. You will eat the crabs. Or I'll give them to you. Whatever. I mean, this is comedy, so if you can't take it, you know, quit watching. It puts the condoms in the basket. Clearly, you have some issues. If you've been on the face of this earth for four decades, guess what? <laughs> Everyone's gonna have some issues, so... 
<laughs> Shut up. You must need therapy. Okay, this is my therapy, so technically you are correct. <laughs> Don't bite the dick, the touch you, honey, get a big good to you. Look, th these are just the highlights of all these emails <laughs> over a year. I'm just telling <laughs> It's clear that you're gay. <laughs> Hang on, I need a beer on this one. What did you say? I do not suffer from an XY crosswire, I can assure you. But, you know, I got an ex-wife that can attest to that and two children. There's a little bad pop in all of us. Even your mother. <laughs> you can't get laid because you have a small penis. This is the default insult for every woman out there without an imagination. <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies. I have to laugh at you because if this is all you got, please. Come up with something new so I can put it on the board. Stop being lame. My penis is average size for my height and weight, and despite me being up here <laughs> being a turbo a-hole, <laughs> I get lots of slot C, so I don't know what the hell you're talking about there. Yeah! You're just materialistic. Says the woman campaigning for equal rights and equal pay, all while demanding that I pay for your meals and unreasonable amounts of child support. If I don't want to surrender half my stuff three and four times in my lifetime, I think that is my right. Hit it, quit it, park stop it, neutral slam it, run it through all the gears, and leave it on the lot where you found it. Right in Section 8 housing. Nor do I think dude should pay a chick alimony for the rest of their life because they're married to it hell no if you want the wealth listen feminism is one go earn your own quit taking ours yeah you're a greedy bastard is it greedy that people should keep what they earn and earn what they keep <laughs> i guess you got me on that one skadoosh you don't love your mom do you and now this one here i found particularly hurtful and i don't love my mom <laughs> You don't know anything about me, so you can kiss it. Not on the left side, not on the right side, but right in the middle. This has no bearing on any of the videos I've done, nor the argument that has to go within any of it. Stupid. It just proves how ignorant you are. You know what, Mama? Tell her I said hi. You know what? You're fat and ugly. What is this? <laughs> fat and ugly? What's next? You're going to call me a poop head and push me down on the playground? Get a life, for God's sake. She loves me. I love you, too. Yeah, no. Loser. My definition of a loser is a guy who just sits there and takes it. One of the millions and millions of guys out there in the masses who just looks down when shit goes south. I'm not that guy. Yeah, a loser has two enemy marksmanship badges known as Purple Hearts and a 25-year military record. Winning. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bite the dick that fucks you, honey. Get a big good to you. It's some crazy ass shit. Edit that out. You're promoting Satan. Because I'm basically telling dudes not to get married. Satanism. <laughs> because in the long run, it saves you a lot of money. Not that there aren't good marriages out there. Because there is. The radical feminism, because I'm not really against feminism. The radical feminism is what is promoting this. Okay, because I don't want to see women walking around in burkas because I've been over there and that ain't cool. God is very unhappy with you. Now, the person who sent this one, I'm sure you talk to him on a regular basis, you crazy bastard. I know God. We play racquetball you know, two times a week. It's all good. You know, the Bible states that man should marry. The guy who sent this one is actually, you know, quoting the Bible. He was very logical, very reasonable. And he basically says that the Bible states that men should be married. And it does. By the way, the Bible says divorce is okay, so I bet you're Catholic. But it also says women should be subservient to men. But you didn't mention that in your argument, now did you? Oh. They're gonna hate that one. That's fine. It was a good argument, and I have nothing against you. Don't bite the dick that fucks you, honey. It'll be good to you. Blah, 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 blame, blame, blame. There you go. <laughs> they don't want to take responsibility for themselves because they're crazy. Your videos are abusive. <laughs> if you think this is abusive, clearly you haven't seen the back of a hand growing up. Yeah, it's all fun and games until he <laughs> tools you up a few times. <laughs> oh, that's right. Logic was added, I believe, to the uh, domestic violence wheel. <laughs> Domestic violence isn't funny, <laughs> but it, it kind of is. <laughs> you must be neglectful. I'm being neglectful because I'm, I'm talking about real life issues that are going on in a comedic way. Well, at least I take care of my children, but 
You enjoy that Section 8 glory hole now, will you? What? <laughs> You're mean. Well, guess what? The truth hurts. The truth hurts for a reason. If it's not, then it's not the truth. <laughs> That's so mean. You drop two or three uh, fortification trophies and you get left on the uh, on the curb and you're poor when you get old? Shut your cake while you did it yourself. It has nothing to do with me. You know what? You're no fun. Well, you are not me and I think this is a lot of fun. Total cocks. <laughs> And a lot of guys like this, and I'm not gonna stop doing it. Yeah. And there's no happy endings here. This is a real, real world, baby. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Enjoy. Clearly, you've never learned the value of a woman. Okay, with two thirds of the women filing for a divorce out there and running these guys ragged, they put you in slavery, accuse you of crimes that you have to defend your innocence against. Can somebody please? Tell me definitively what the value is. Could you please send me some emails in regards to this? Because I, I need to know. Herpigonocyphilates. Yeah! <laughs> Double shot and pills and no cure. Don't thank me. Thank penicillin or tetracycline. You're insensitive. All right. I'm going to underline this because I probably didn't spell it right. No, you did actually. All right. I got that one right. I am insensitive because I don't care. If you can look above my head, the I don't care light is on and I'm moving forward and I don't give a fuck speed. Yeah! <laughs> She's a whore, yes, a whore, a <laughs> There's a common theme here. Whenever you argue with a feminist using logic and reason, they always come back with things like this. They talk about things that absolutely have no bearing on the real world because they're living in a dream world. And this was just the highlights of hate mail year one. Winning! I can't wait <laughs> for year two. <laughs> it's gonna get ugly up in here. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because if you do, maybe I'll get over it. And maybe I won't. Gonorrhea! No. <laughs>